Grace and peace to all who do the will of our Father in heaven. I want to share with you this um, a clip from this video and also ask you to go watch it. I think it is really important, especially, you know, with the way things are right now. Uh, but I have to also ask you before you even watch the video to to go into it prayerfully considered with prayerful consideration not immediately arguing with it or um thinking that i'm i'm going crazy because i have done this for a long time and it take and it has taken me a long time for me to finally sort of plant my flag on this and say this is true so um yeah i ask for you to go into it with prayerful consideration to um, be open-minded, but what I mean by that is, I should say, be biblically minded. <laughs> Filter everything through the Bible, and take what you see and hear from me. Take it to the Most High God in prayer. Let Him confirm it to you. And you know, I will never say that you're obligated to believe anything that I say because I'm just a man. Um, but while I'm while I'm here, I will. I'll show you a clip from the video and and during this scene here this this was a, a performance at the 2021 World Economic Forum by Arena Domsky I believe her name is and she was dressed as the Scarlet Woman who was Lucifer and the Spirit of Horton and um, and during this performance she was singing O Fortuna which is another name for her and the way they positioned the lights on her, it looked like the sigil of Lucifer. And this was caught by S.S. Stoltz, I believe that's how you say the name. Um, I made the video and I didn't even catch it, <laughs> but they caught it. And I went back and watched it and I was like, oh, wow, that does look like it. Now, you might say it's a bit of a stretch um, and that might be, it might be a stretch. But we got to understand that these people had the mind to put her in a red garment, a scarlet garment, and have the crown of stars and all of that, the celestial virgin, um, put all of that around her. So why wouldn't they take the extra step to put other symbolism around her? And not only that, since we're here, <laughs> look at the two guys flanking her, the two men in robes right two pillars two pillars and if you look above her you have the three bright lights the deity or quote god or whatever it's usually some kind of trinity and this is kind of um i think being reflected in those three bright lights above her that trinity could be mother father son or um father or just three male parts or whatever it doesn't matter it's just kind of a um an idea of the of the god which is the universal god not the real god and it's always some kind of trinity now um i don't want to make this video going too long i pretty much said all i wanted to say and sorry if i was kind of all over the place but I have some distractions at home, you know. Uh, I usually make these videos and <laughs> really, really, really late at night. But right now, it's just um, the evening, so I have other things happening in the house. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, with that, I would like to, again, encourage you to watch the video. It's long, but I believe it's worth it. And yeah, um, I say um, thank you for your time. And may our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, bless you.